croissants to quiche to tartines. Stepping into this cafe will make you feel like you've been transported to a French patisserie, but you're really in downtown Dover. This is so good for Dover. It's like a, like a little bit of Europe right here in the seacoast. It's amazing. The food is incredible. We love it. It's, uh, we actually really like it a lot because we travel a lot to um, like Europe and things like that, and this really gives off those kind of vibes of very eclectic, just different than a bagel and a coffee. Dover native Rebecca Krieger, a pastry chef with 20 years in the biz, is the owner of Two Bees. Two Bees, where'd the name come from? The name comes from um, a shop in Paris that my mom visited um, way back, and she came home raving about it. And now people are all abuzz about its Granite State counterpart, a fresh, bright new spot overlooking the Kachiko River. And we just love it because the food is fantastic and they're very nice here. Customer service is wonderful. I love it. Yeah, it's, I've come here way too often. <laughs> um, it has great coffee, the pastries are amazing. I'm a really big fan of the croissants. <laughs> process is basically folding in butter and then sheeting it through these pins that make it thinner. Every time you fold it, it creates the layers, so that's called lamination. The butter actually creates steam, and that's what creates the rise. So you get all of those layers and that airiness in between the layers. The Queen Amon, I would say, is our house specialty. When it's formed, it is rolled in a demerara sugar. And so it caramelizes, and it actually almost gives the appearance of something being inside of that, but it's just caramelized sugar. We usually sell out of them. They go fast. Yeah. <laughs> We do a morning bun that I don't think you can get anywhere around here. It's coated in a lavender Earl Grey tea sugar. Um, so that one's really fun. We are also offering different danishes with house-made jellies and jams. Um, currently doing a guava and cream cheese danish. What do we have here? This is our avocado tartine, and it's got a salsa seca. So this is like a dry salsa that's made from our house spice nuts. We grind those nuts up and then we um, dress it in a chili sauce. Um, so it's like sweet and spicy. At Two B's Cafe and Patisserie, each coffee is carefully crafted using homemade syrups. On Fridays and Saturdays after three, we have charcuterie and cheese board. So that's a great way to enjoy an afternoon with a nice French wine. All of our wines are French um, and a local beer. These plates are all empty because we have eaten well. <laughs> We've eaten well and the food is excellent. I think you're going to get a little bit transported. That's the goal, that you're not going to feel like you're in Dover. You're going to feel like you're in some faraway city and you're going to leave feeling like it was worth it. corner, Kristen French has created a menu that lets you tour the world. After working in restaurants since she was a teen, she opened Gallivant Global Eatery on Central Ave, the main drag in Dover in 2023. So I like to call it a traveler-inspired menu. Um, I've traveled to a lot of the places that have given me inspiration for the menu. Thailand has probably been the highlight of my travel experiences. I try to have our menu be representative of things from all around the world, different cultures, so people can come in, experience flavors that they either miss from travel or places that they long to go. The um, food is excellent and it's so different. The loco moco is a traditional Hawaiian comfort food. We serve ours on a bed of crispy rice. It's um, sticky rice with a ground beef patty, homemade mushroom gravy, sunny side up egg. Ours we serve with deep fried kimchi and a little bit of microgreens. The shrimp and grits are also island inspired. Butter, lemon, garlic has a little bit of that famous canned ham that is popular in Hawaii as well. 
The shashuka is also a favorite. It's a spiced tomato stew topped with poached eggs. Ours has a tahini crema that we make in-house, some herb oil, and feta served with naan on the side. Galavant is not just about international cuisine, but also brunch. It's Sunday brunch here every day. For me, it is the ultimate celebration meal, and that's the experience that I wanted to create for people. People aren't in a hurry like they are at breakfast or need to catch a show at dinner. It's more, yeah, people come out and brunch is the experience. The Spanish Benedict, it's amazing. Like, I get it every time. It's made with an olive hollandaise and crispy Spanish ham. Another Spanish-influenced dish at Gallivant is the plantain and carnitas hash. The Hong Kong-style bubble waffle really pops. So this is mango and pineapple, and then it has popping fruit boba, which serves as the syrup to the waffle. It's filled with a passion fruit syrup. I ordered something I would never have guessed that I would have ordered, but it was very good and cool. Yeah. And you loved it. And I loved it. Italy is also on the menu. This is our famous tiramisu French toast. That sounds delicious. What's in it? It is brioche bread. It has Allen's coffee brandy in the custard, powdered sugar, cocoa powder to give it that tiramisu vibe. And then instead of butter, we top it with a sweetened mascarpone. Wow. There are brunch-based flights and cocktails. You'll find glitter and cotton candy in the party mimosa. And this is the Taiwanese boba mimosa. Instead of regular orange juice in it, it gets the boba pearls. It has passion fruit juice in it. So as you sip it, the boba pearls will pop in your mouth, and that creates the juice. I love the atmosphere. I love the people. It's just it's a really neat vibe. So if you'd like to travel to a faraway place but stay close to home, visit Dover and treat your palate to a global flavor adventure.